Stan Jibalisco here. Uh, I would like to just briefly show you the two different types of fiber optic cable. Also known as optical fiber. Here's the first type and this is figure 32-11A in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. So if you want to refer to that book, if you have it, <coughs> if you don't, get it. Figure 32-11A shows a basic optical fiber known as a step index fiber. Step index. Now, how does that work exactly? What does step index mean? Well, what it means <coughs> is that your fiber optic cable has two concentric uh, parts. The inner part here, like a very fine cylindrical long length of clear plastic, has a particular index of refraction. That is called the core then surrounding it is a tubular clear plastic known as the cladding. The cladding. That has a lower index of refraction than the core has. So, if a beam of light or infrared travels straight through the core, it just goes on straight through. But usually it's going to hit at an angle like this, like beam Y. What's going to happen is that as long as this angle is a grazing angle or a near grazing angle, it will be reflected back at the boundary between the core and the cladding. You probably learned about that in your physics classes in high school when you have an a medium with a higher index of refraction surrounded by a medium with a lower index of refraction. If a beam of light or infrared hits at a very nearly grazing angle at that boundary, you will get total internal reflection. Now if that ray were for some reason to strike at a greater angle, too great of an angle like this, then it would escape. It would be refracted at that boundary instead of reflected. Well, you don't want that to happen, but for the most part in an optical fiber, you're transmitting that beam straight to begin with. The only time you're ever going to get these situations where it hits at an angle, well, that's pretty often. That's when you bend the optical fiber, when you create a bend in it. As long as that bend isn't too sharp, you'll get total internal reflection. But because the wavelengths of light are so small, you'd have to make that bend awfully sharp in order to get anything but total internal reflection. So that is how a step index optical fiber works. Okay. Now let's look at the other type. This is figure 32-11B. Once again in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. And I happen to be referring to the 5th edition published by McGraw-Hill in 2011. This is called a graded index optical fiber. And what that means, <coughs> you've got the same core and cladding and the same boundary as you had before. And the index of refraction of the core is still greater than the index of refraction of the cladding. But there's a fundamental difference in the construction of the core in this type of fiber, a graded index fiber. In the graded index fiber, the core has a higher index of refraction near the center and gradually reducing the index of refraction as you go out towards the 
outer edges or the outer boundary of this cylindrical fiber. So what tends to happen is that, when, of course, when light beams are sent straight through, they still go straight, just like beam X does here. But usually there's going to be a bend or two in the cable somewhere, and that's going to create a situation where the beam moves through at an angle. This graded index of refraction is going to bend the ray back towards the center rather than reflecting it abruptly at the boundary as in total internal reflection you will actually get refraction that will under ideal circumstances keep this wave inside of the core if the bend is a little bit sharper perhaps under some circumstances you'll hit that boundary but you'll still get total internal reflection we hope, <laughs> as long as that's very nearly a grazing angle. And we can be pretty assured of that unless the bend is so sharp that you would probably snap the fiber. You would probably break it. So those are the two types of optical fiber. And of course, fiber optic communications, in my opinion, is the wave of the future. Fiber optic. for your internet access. And the big advantage of that is that you can get a huge bandwidth and therefore extremely high data transfer rates, sometimes in the order of gigabits per second, as opposed to most cable systems, conventional television cable systems, which have several megabits per second. My particular home system gets about five megabits per second downstream and about two megabits per second upstream. My neighbor gets about five times those speeds. He has a different cable subscriber than I do and I'm thinking of our cable service. He subscribes to a different cable service and I'm thinking about doing the same thing. Because I can use that speed. <clears throat> That's one thing about moving to the mountains in Wyoming or some other remote place. I would lose this so-called high-speed internet access but the real high-speed stuff is the fiber to the curb. That's what they call this. or even that's called fiber to the curb or if you're really lucky you'll get fiber to the home in Kansas City Missouri United States of America I believe they are already experimenting with some systems that allow users to have fiber to the home so you can actually get gigabits per second right into your computer for the internet. Oh, I don't know if that's enough to make me want to move to Kansas City, but it sure does speak well for Kansas City. I can say that much. Congratulations to you. But once again, I recommend that you get my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. fifth edition where in chapter 32 there's a brief mention of fiber optic systems but this is just a very good all-around electronics teaching guide if I can believe most of the reviews I get of course there are a few people don't like my stuff I try as hard as I can though go to my website www sciencewriter.net and if you like this video you'll like a lot of my other videos even better they're good for a few laughs click on the link videos and also you may wish to click on the link quiz explanations <laughs> I need to learn how to spell 
After 32 years of writing, you'd think I'd know that, but no. <clears throat> Go to the link Quiz Explanations, and you'll find Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics 5th Edition. All the chapter-ending quizzes have text explanations on my website, and the exam, final exam answers have video explanations. So you can see a whole lot more of my videos, and you can also find Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics miscellany, miscellaneous videos there as well. Stan Jibalisco signing off from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, so long. <laughs>